Yeah, no, fam. Yeah, man. Yo. Right now, we've got a caller coming in. Yo, who's that on the hotline? Alright, how you doing? It's old Ralphie boy. Oh, Jack, Jack! <laughs> yeah. How are you, Governor? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm alright, apart from this at the end of the fucking world. <sighs> Mate, I t- well, I told everyone it was coming. I told everyone it was coming. I'm what? sitting comfortable with mate on the radio. I'll be the best place I can, do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. How are you, mate? I'm alright. Listen, we ain't got a long, t- like, a long time, so I'll get straight to it. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about suicide and bereavement. Um, my mum, she, she took her own life. She committed suicide when I was 17. Jumped from a cliff. You told me, you told me, bro. And, uh... It just fucked me up for years, man. I went through a whole stage of self-sabotage where I couldn't look in the mirror. For about four years, I hated myself. Attempted to take in my own life. I thought you, be, you, you know, you, 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 you become succumbed by it. Um, it takes over your life. Because I spent a lot of time wallowing, not feeling sorry for myself. You know, not wallowing in self-pity or anything like that, but just, you succumbed by it. Well, 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 what a ride it's been. My life full of persinning, stifled winds. I wonder how many corners I've pissed in, how many holes I've lived in, how many birds I've winked at, and how many times I've felt flat on my face. Coming to you live, the last of the sunshine, demise served up on a tray the end of our fucking days. No more ringtones, no more phones, no more riddles to decipher, no more home. No more rich cunts dictating the poor, no more rich heads to stare at in awe. Kalas, it means Finnish in Arabic. I wonder what it's like down there. The end of the world is coming, ain't no day after. Marks are got bombs in the air, prep for disaster. Call up your friends and end your days with some laughter. Tried hard to leave, time to amend with me, master. You know, I had this thing, I made up this terminology in my head. I've copyrighted this, by the way, don't anyone nick it off me. Why is that not fair? Um, I was just so afraid of, you know, turning on this imaginary tap and the valve would open and all this water and all this emotion would gush out and I wouldn't be able to turn it back off and I wouldn't be able to recover back from it. Because, you know, I was a different boy before. I mean, to be fair, I was. I was a young boy and now I'm a grown man, I'm 32 years of age, almost. Um, it fucked me up for years, man. For years, I didn't feel normal. I mean, you know, people, what the fuck is normal? But I didn't feel how I am now, now until, until I was about 28. And that was just for extensive therapy, you know? Let me just say, I mean, I know everyone's a bit different, but sort of, I used to call them clipboard people. I feel like the habitual, um, sorry, not habitual, the holistic route is so much better. The end of the world is coming, ain't no day after. Marks are got bombs in the air, prep for disaster. Call up your friends and end your days with some laughter. Tried hard to leave, time to amend with me, master. The end of the world is coming, ain't no day after. Marks are got bombs in the air, prep for disaster. Call up your friends and end your days with some laughter Tried hard to leave, time to amend with me, master my family and friends and my friends and my family I quote now, I hope now, I hope now you're proud of me As the ozone peels back and peels the films off our back The love that we have for one another will remain an infinite filament of fact What a time to have been alive Put some gravy on your potatoes What a celebratory time I do a lot of group work Big Up um, there's, a, there's a men's mental health charity Called A Band of Brothers And you know, they saved me from taking my own life I've attempted suicide a couple of times, but never been brave enough. One was a pills, one was a razor blade, one was a gun, I put a gun to my head. Um, gun to your head, bruv? Yeah, I put a gun to my head. But like I didn't pull the fucking trigger. I'm sorry for doing this. You know, since... Of course you bloody happy you did it if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we're going to die anyway, but blimey. No, no, no. No way. No way, I'm not going out like that. You have to just do your thing because the world's going to end. You have to just do your thing because you never know when the world's going to end. You can't pick an age, London again. And I'm coming home. You're coming there soon as well. To be honest, everywhere I've got a lot of certain 
love to take my children to Disney, Disney World and they'll eat anything. They I know want. I'm not the only one when I say I'm scared. I'm scared of the unknown and I'm scared of what's next. I'm scared. Scared of not seeing all that is good in this world. And then they have much I left them. I've had a good life. I'm most proud of the friends I've made along the way, the amazing people I've met, the amazing family that raised me, all my close friends, all my family, all my friends, family, everyone under the sun that is loved by all of us. But unbelievably, I found peace within all of this. I'm thinking to myself, what can I change? I spent my whole life trying to convince the world that I'm worthy of their attention. And really I should have just given more attention to the people that actually love me. It, it gives me such an elation I cannot explain. Their last few moments of happiness is my happiness.